Let us continue playing Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. When we last set off, we were looking to finally sell a load of our stuff off. And we've also completely um, bypassed the shops and basically saved the circus, which, you know, is a worthy cause. This is getting us nowhere. Let's do something. We shall do something, don't worry about that. Well, at the moment though, I'm discussing reputation modifiers because this is kind of important. Um, we have a reputation of 12. Now, shop prices depend on two things. Firstly, the charisma of the person who is um, buying or selling, and that's based on the party leader's um, perspective. The alignment partially adjusts it there, but also reputation. So once the reputation goes 15 and up, the prices start dropping. In addition, having a higher charisma allows the prices to be lower anyway. By default, this means... And I'm just going to find the shop and show yes. this. Oh, sorry. Don't use WASD, Consider it's always it a numpad. Eventually, I'll get used to that again. Eventually, one of well. these is a shop. You look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Uh, not at all, they're murdered Thunderstone. Uh, dude. The Adventures Mart. We will go to the Adventures Mart in a little bit. Uh, temple... Close to... Um, shrine to Ilmatus close by. Let's see what services you have. Okay, so you notice here we have uh, 98 gold pieces for a um, potion of healing, 131 for an antidote, and that's because of our 18 charisma and our neutral good... I believe we're neutral good. And our neutral good nature. Of course. With 21 choice, charisma certainly. and a lawful good nature... Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory 87 condition. and 116. I think also... I didn't check that, but... I will strike. What is my task? Yeah. I await your word. You look like the selling price is gone. pieces to rub together. No, the selling price appears to be the same. But it doesn't matter. In any case... Of course. I'm the best... We need to do... Tetherians, Waterdavians, they all make their way here eventually to arm, they do. They do. Unfortunately, you don't have anything magical, but we can still get rid of a few things. So, two-handed sword, two-handed sword, dagger, the robe of the arch magi can go at this point, ring of the princes, and hold person spell. So that's 9,000 gold we just earned there. Very, very nice indeed. Um, what we might end up doing, I'm only considering it because of um, the fact that we do have the shrine there. If I go and spend a lot of money increasing things, and it is a lot of money, so you go increase it, 12, it's 900, then 1200, then 1500, and it goes up by 300 each particular point. But at 15, we start getting some penal some um, redu further reductions. And arguably, that might end up being worth it. Uh, Mail of the Dead, we've already kind of established, isn't worth keeping, so we'll go for that. Charm Person, and those can go. Right, on to you. Shield of the Falling Stars, do not need. Um. The rest of that's okay, though we will get rid of a Cursed Scroll of Ugliness. I'll just get the other Cursed Scroll if they sell for 90. Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, one of Cloud Kill, one of Lightning. Only have one charge each, and friends we can't do. Ring of the Princes as well. We also need to find out what the Pommel Stone of the Equalizer does. I meant to look that up. Finally, some plus one bolts, some studded lever armor, the Dale's protector, splint mail, plus one bullets. And I think we're done there, really. Keep the antidotes and the oil of speed, because you never know when they might be helpful. So that's boosts up to nearly 20,000 gold pieces, which is not a bad yes. position to be in. So let's go Without to the Ilmata Church and spend some of those. It may only be, I think it's a 5% reduction once you get to 15. But, um... Quickly and precisely. Quickly and precisely. You have my greetings, faithful one. It may only be a 5% reduction, but still could... That overall will give us a benefit before too long. And we might be able to boost our reputation in our voice. This being said, this is taking a long time to clock this up. If I find that is not and I've misread it, then I'm going to be annoyed. Or if I'm looking at this level up. But I'm sure it's 900, 1200, 1500. Required to get um, reputation point increases. What I really should do, do have done is check this, but we'll we'll see how it goes. So nine hundred runs the city. He's the leader of the numerous guild masters. Okay, twelve hundred. 
There's a lot of gold we're just basically tossing away here, but we'll see. Rotation point has gone up by another point. Clerics are disappearing throughout the city. I need to reappear with their eyes plucked out. Okay, there's some things we are going to have to check out later. Okay. So we gained three points of reputation there. We now have a popular reputation. What and this it? will give Without us a further 5% reduction in shop prices. So. This will not take long. Let's go up there and see what the other person here sells. Welcome to my humble establishment. I would indeed. So 840 gold pieces for all the protection things. I think we're doing quite well here, in all honesty. So what we now need to do... Scroll case. Thank God for scroll case. Now the other slight thing with this is, of course, we don't necessarily have a guaranteed ability to A, learn, and B, memorize. So, wizard's eye... 60 foot, basically detection um, spell, which we can move around. Uh, cannot be enhanced by other spells or items. Substance and form can be detected. Solid barriers prevent the passage of a wizard's eye. Oh, I take a wizard's eye, actually. Shadow door. We do want. Uh, cloud kill is potentially um, interesting, so we'll take that as well. Just got to be really careful of using cloud kills. Resilient Sphere. Uh, closes the subject creature. We'll claim the subject for duration of a spell. The sphere is completely immune to all damage. In fact, the only method of removing the sphere is successful to dispel magic. Hence, the creature caught inside the globe is completely safe from all attacks. At the same time, completely unable to affect the outside well. Yes, we definitely want one of those. Greater Malaysian, Malaysian would be lovely, and this is why I should really have made you a um, wild mage. Because then we could have things like that. Improves invisibility. And I think for the lower level spells, I think we're just going to take our chances what we got. Maybe take a Melfs. Oh, I'm also ran out of slots, so... There we go. We'll buy all that, try and memorize them. So, start with improved invisibility. Invisible Sphere. First level 5 spell, Shadow Door. Cloud Kill. Okay, we had an amazing bit of run there. Excellent. Let's put things away in the scroll case. Okay, also I need a fourth memorization. Um, fourth identify for later. But huzzah, we're now picking up a few things. So, looking at things then, we're probably going Shadow Door, Cloud Kill, and Cloud Kill. Possibly even overkill. But um, without a lot of attack spells here, I'm thinking. Uh, so it's going to move from the ground. Every two levels. Uh, For each skin that was possessed, the shell will stop one attack. Six level cell, uh, six would affect him normally. Uh, until he's affected by Dispel Magic. So it can be dispelled. Wizard's Eye will probably test out... Oh, what was that? That was Remove Curse. Remove Curse is definitely helpful, but we're not going to take that just yet. I think an Irresistible Sphere is not a bad way to go here, because we can just basically toss that on somebody and they're completely protected. Or we can just use it to deny a particular enemy from doing anything. Look at the EPs we just earned there. Speak. If Welcome it must to be my done. I would indeed. So, again, we're now looking towards some of the lower level things, but is there anything else fifth level that we might want? Cone of Cold, actually. Cone of Cold is actually an attack spell, so an attack spell that isn't cloud kill. Slays creatures with four or fewer hit dice. Um, creatures with five or six hit dice to store saving throws versus poison. Uh, those above 6th level must leave the cloud immediately or suffer with d10 points of damage for each round while in the area. It is a very powerful grid effect, so I've got to be really careful with it. Um, so yeah, Melf's Acid Arrow. I don't think there's really much else I need down at this lower level, in all honesty. So I think I might just stick with that. Alright, come on. Let's have, let's have a full set of memorizations, please. Yes. 
Okay. Blood of Bane Shadowhawk, you've done your job well. We'll keep one cloud we'll keep one cloud's kill available, but we'll go for Cone of Cold as our main sort of attack thing there. Yes. Right. Next up, how much money have we got left? Ten thousand gold still. It will be done. So I think what we want to do at this point is Actually before we do that, we'll go and rest. No, not there. Certainly. Uh do which one is it? It's Direct this one? Oh actually, is there anything here? Empty tables. Which I suppose kind of work as storage what areas. It? it will be done. So intense shopping action has been completed. Certainly. Okay, so there's a few people here. There's in fact Latio Dominito. Hello there. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to uh, what time is it? Is it morning? Then welcome to the morning showing of the talents of Latio Di Bonito. A rousing wave of indifference from the crowd yet again. If I let such things bother me, I would have given up for stage years ago. As per the wishes of my audience, unfortunately. At least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well, doesn't swear and leave anyway. Let's see. A tale of familial woe to tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest. <clears throat> Raised of spells and casting well, but always wanting better. So sing of nights and days of yore to leave the robes that that fetter. A wizard prone to song and prose, though oft accused of failing. I shall sing despite the odds. Will you shut your bloody wailing? Well finished, Mrs. Patricia. A fine air for rhyme, though. I would hope you'd be more supporting of your own employees. I support you to sting the spells and figures. You're a security and financial advice, not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want to bore and be a singing. Very well, Miss Patricia. Thank you for your indulgence thus far. Grumble. <laughs> okay, I don't know. That was quite fun. Army and guard, commoners. And there are things inside there. Will this technically be stealing? Almost certainly. Fortunately, these games don't tell you what's stealing, because, you know, we Hello. don't need to know that. Also, I did the voice for you completely wrong. <laughs> Why is there a place called Den of the Seven Bales? Uh, late husband, uh, called the place Seven Bales. Had them belly dancers working here back then, and while I let them go, didn't have the heart to change the name a little. Uh, mind you ask a question too. Cow wizards. Shadow thieves. Okay. Let's see your services. So we want to rest up. Shall rent a peasant room where there are rats. Because there are always rats. And thus we are fully restored. So. Yeah, we're low on equipment again, which is always a nice place to be at. Uh, potions. Merge those up. Might even be worth getting rid of these. They're nine hit points each. They are kind of redundant unless we're in desperate, dire situations. our good old potion of power. Um, yeah, plus 20 to all of those for four turns. Three hours for Master Fevery, which we've already kind of got things for. Okay, so here's the identification things. Elsbane, which is plus three versus missile and piercing attacks. Thank you very much. We're definitely taking that for our wizard. Meanwhile, we identify the one-shot... Um, and fight all the one shots. And I think we're pretty much safe with that. Um, I think we'll keep two identifiers on standby, but we're going to stick with the um, with the spheres, I think, mostly. Yeah. Chromatic Orb is probably one of the more useful spells. In fact, looking at the description, it's got a few more. He's level 9, so we can fire five missiles off, which all do d4 plus 1. So at most, we're looking at uh, maybe 20 damage. Well, 20. Yeah, a bit more than that, really, but still. We're probably looking at an average about 15 damage per shot. A chromatic ore, but um, my level is doing 10 d10 damage and paralysis for two turns. Paralysis is is big. Uh, victim saves versus spell with a plus six bonus against all effects and gets no save if it gets some damage. Okay, so they do have a large chance of um, not being affected by it, but still, the chance of paralysis and next level, the immediate um, petrification. Chromatic Orb is the way to go, I feel. 
So, Without doubt. let's see if there's anything upstairs. For the glory of arm! Okay, this is a named encounter. We'll Quickly come back. And we'll come back. I'm, I'm going to buy the rest of my equipment before I do anything else, but I'm a bit wary of named encounters at the top of inns. It might also be this relevant for the story be later on. And yes, we are totally cowardish. But we're going to go to the Adventurer's Mart first, which is... There, of course. Where's the Adventure of Mart entrance, then? Oh, there we are. In we go! Don't even think about trying to steal anything. Let's talk to Gareth. must be done. I trust all is well. Oh, perhaps your eyes are better than mine. Do you see any salamander dust here? What do you need salamander dust for? You're not a cowled wizard, are you? It's for the soup. Yes, is it? Salamander soup for my uh, children and things. See it or not? Why not just ask the storekeeper if he has any? Revolt? I'm not in speaking terms. He tried to charge me three coppers for a bottle of pitch and a um, clutch of mice tails. Outrageous! I would speak to him until he apologizes. How do you buy anything there then? Very quietly. Now look, it's too much for an old man to ask. Do you see any bloody salamander dust or not? Hmm, why, yes, I do. Way over the other side of the store there. Ooh, really? <laughs> I like it. I do like it. All right. Let's talk to you. I need a swig or some strong dwarf. I've ribald here since. Hmm. There's a little adventure there in Shadowdale. Isn't that right, ribald? I never met you in Shadowdale, Brelm. You got drunk here four months ago and haven't left. Ah, don't be listening to him. What does he know? Let's talk to you then. Ribald Bartman at your service. Okay. Uh... Yes, there are some things that are interesting. Okay, so what do we have available here? We have plus two flails. Now, that might actually be interesting for you. Sorry, bear with. Because what you've currently got equipped is just the plus one flail. So, I'm actually inclined to sell that. Also got chainmail to sell as well, actually. Yeah, all sellables generally go onto the character I'm selling with, just so I remember to do it. And yeah, we're definitely going to sell the one-shot um, ones. I mean, sure, they could be useful later, but we have a fireball wand. It'll be fine. And I can go into there. The Adventure Mart's the finest shopping in all of Faerun. Why to select definitely some items are interested in. Nary a fancy illustration. Just the so, goods, bare and plain. Sell all of that. So what we're really interested in then is a plus two flail. Some interesting things here, actually. Plus two flail for you. Uh, plus two sling. Yeah, we'll take a plus two sling. It's the only one he's got, of course. Uh, staff mace. It's quad staff. Uh, Aegis hide, which is cold resistance, fire resistance, acid resistance, immunity confusion. Mm, essentially. Um, Fortress Shield plus three. Ring of the Princes, the Victor. There's some nice stuff here, actually. Races of AC plus AC three. We'll definitely take a gem bag. Sword of Flame plus one. We're doing Girdle of Hill Giant strength. Strength 19, we want. Fortunately, it's too pricey for us at this point in the game, but we definitely want it. Also, spells. So, non-detection. Secret word. Breach. Uh, it breaches and spells all specific and combat protections of a target creature. 
Breach is probably worth it. So things to note here. AC braces... Three, in which we'll need 7,500-ish. And also it's the... Where are we? What was that belt? 11,500 for the giant strength. Which 19 strength is going to be huge on somebody. Um, probably Elden, in all, in all honesty. Because, you know, I'm already hasted up and anyway. Uh, let's see, Fortress Shield plus 3... Unfortunately, you can't use it. You could use a medium shield too. I don't think we'll leave that there. Plate mail plus one. Which unfortunately does not match full plate, does it? No. Well, okay. So we got some interesting stuff there. And the gem bag, which we're going to give to the thief because he's going to be picking up those gems. Uh, right. Right, the breach spell. Got it. Did I pick up anything else from you? Plus two sling. Because we're using a basic one now anyway. So that now means we're now using... Just comparative purposes. Yeah, plus two hit, plus two damage. That's much better use of our time there. Right. So... I'll sell a plus one medium shield and get an increase there, I think. What can we do to make your dreams come true today? I mean, this is just a thing here. There might actually be some other things we can get. Meantime, though, we're definitely going to sell that off. We've already sold the plus one flail off. We are going to then... What's the reflection shield get? So, no protection against missile attacks reflects missiles back at the user. See, that sounds good. I mean, it sounds as good as the medium shield is going to be. But I think we'll just take the general armor class increase. So, all that thing done. Armor class goes up to negative five. Yeah, because you're actually the one person I've got to really think about a lot of this now. We do have some boots. Peddlers, artisans, or hell spawn, I care nay a blot. All that matters is the deal, and Ribald's here to make one with you. Uh, the victor, the... So no boots seemingly here. At least nothing I can wear at that point. So we've got a few couple of notes to take on there. These are adventure marts. And the AC races are basically looking at a wizard here. We're looking at our wizard at the very least. There are books. To you. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Magical Emporium. Oh, you have some interesting things. Uh, that is a katana, which do exist in the game. Can memorize an extra first, second, third, and fourth wizard spell. How do you feel about learning the katana? Give me some direction. I think we might be having you learn the katana, sir. I hope this is worth it. Yes. Oh, Very you customer. go there first. A pearl to you. Okay, Velos Helm. Okay, so you have a lot of expensive, nice stuff. Harp we can't really use. Charisma plus two, hit points plus five, protection from evil. Definitely an amulet we're interested in. Insight amulet. That boost is up to 23 charisma. And of course being a paladin protection from evil is always a nice thing to have. Uh, place of boulder run. This is pretty much just taunting me, isn't it? We have no way of getting this money right this moment. Ah, oh, darn it. 34,300 gold. That's a lot of goblins we have to kill there. 
So basically everything of Boulder around looking at this. Resonance plus 10, law plus 10. It is a long sword, which she is proficient with. And uh, shield of Belderon as well, though that loses a um Okay. So basically the Balderan items. Definitely seems like a thing here. And the Mercy Killer Ring. Which is a thieves ring, really. And nothing we can afford here in any case. Still, all of that interests well, me. Certainly. So, is there anything else I can really get from here? Let's talk to you. I trust all is well. Shall I talk to Lucy? The Riven ignores me. <laughs> hmm. I think I remember those. Oh, let's talk to Lady Youth. Is it important, peasant? Peasant? What is it you sell? Illegal, of course. Why not? We're lawful, but you know, what does that matter? Level 8 spells. Okay, we have removed curse. Farsight. Do we have raven fieldments? I don't think we do. Glitter dust, scroll case, lower resistance. Protection from normal weapons. I don't think we've got anything you, we massively want, but yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of stuff we, we generally like. So Speak. Yes. we shall form the party I'm up. Listening. I think what we're going to do now is now that we're equipped and now we are more or less where we want to be. And by the way, that's going to make sure you get your plus two flail set up. But of course, that. Definitely want that. Plus two arrows. Because what we're going to do is we're going to see about that adventurer party. I'm not sure if we do fight them or not. It will be done. But if they're named, they have stuff. Something we can consider. So, I'm going to save up. We're going to go to there and then battle. Until then.